Hello my friends, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Now I got this JX uh, crane so for the truck. Also the truck will come soon. Uh, later we will assemble this crane with the truck and uh, we will see how they working together. Now let's see how to operate and the radio settings for this JX crane. Okay, so channel 1, J1, that's for uh, crane spinning, 360 degree. Channel 2, VRA, that's for the pump, turning right side. Channel 3, J3, uh, that's for the big arm, rising and down. Channel 4, J2, that's for middle arm, up and down. Channel 5, SWD, that's for the middle arm, uh, reaching out and uh, uh, taking back. Channel 6, VRD, VRD, that's this one. That's for the standing leg, the arm reaching out and uh, withdraw back. Channel 7, VRE, that's for the standing leg, go down, vertically down and up. And channel 8, J4, J4, that's for the small arm reaching out. Uh, no, J4, that's for the small arm, forward, forward small arm up and down. And uh, SWB, that's forward small arm reaching out and taking back. Channel 9, uh, SWB, this one, forward arm, small arm reaching out and back. Channel 10, nothing. Okay, channel 15, 16, 17, that's no more. That's not for control the crane. So only 1 to 9, that's all the channel for control the crane. And come out, end points. The pump, now I'm setting CH2 for the pump. It is 70%. Uh, quite high load, but the pump, it is uh, modified with the ESC. The, the pump is running with low speed because the crane got very small holes. So 70%, it is still running and not too much load. Okay, others are all 100%. And uh, coming to these conditions, because this radio, it is controlling the crane also for the truck. And uh, for the work mode, it is on. So controlling by SWF. So when SWF pushing forward, it is for controlling this crane. When pushing back, that's for controlling the truck. So let's check out. The truck now not setting yet. Function assign. Now SWF pushing forward. All settings for controlling the, uh, this working mode for controlling the crane. And push SWF back. No, nothing. Not setting for the truck yet. Okay, pushing back to the crane mode. Two oil tank filling up from here and uh, connect battery. So here, the cover open, that's the pump. 3S battery. And this cover open, magnetic secured. So 2S battery, this is for the range and the light. Light control letter with the truck. Check the positive and negative, otherwise we will burn the board. Pump, power on. Open this cover, check if here also it is powered on. You see? Signal lost. Power it on. Receiver is light on. Also, here the ESC also got power switch here. Now it is off. Push it on, and here, for this, the winch, here also got one power switch. Power it on. Okay, now it is powered on. Pump on. First, uh, rising the big arm. Check not touching anywhere, not scratching anywhere. You can start uh, rising the middle arm. Only after rising, you can spin it. Yeah, yeah. Before operate, I should first stretch out the standing leg for support. Okay, standing leg out. Now we can spin it, so keep the balance. Because now not mounted to the truck yet. 
Also, let her have to use a small battery to put inside this cover to fit it back. Okay, legs, arm out. All arms are coming out together. Some have also other side is coming one by one. After this arm come out, then can operate the leg going down. Standing leg coming down. Watch out, the wire is not long enough and uh, now the winch loses the wires. This one can spin in all the way, 360 degree, because the battery not fitted small one yet, I have to hold it. Later we order a small battery to fit inside the cover. Still have two more sections for manual extension. And uh, secure the screw again. All arms reaching out, so now can operate the big arm going up with the, the 300 gram, that's the top you can put. Now big arm can move but middle arm not have enough power. So only rising up with big arm and the front arm. Uh, for the settings, check again. For the end points of the pump, after running, so from 30 to 50 percent, it is highly enough for the load. So no more than 50 percent. If 50 percent pressure too high, not good for the system. So top for the pump, pump 50 percent. And let's see the mix control. So go to Pro Mix and uh, click. We're setting seven mix control for each function. Click mix one and click this switch. Now we are setting switch on the mix control with SWH. SWH, this one. This switch, yeah. And uh, after switch it on, see all the mix now it is on. Check the settings. So. Channel 2 is the pump, for operation the mix control, channel 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the master, uh, and also 8 and 9, from channel 3 to 9 is the master, channel 2 is the slave, check it out, that's, that's the control curve, also you can change to different control curve for easier setting, for another one setting different. Mix 4, so master channel 6, slave channel 2, 3 point curve. Anyway, that's enough to control it. Also, same for others. So, the last mix control is mix 7, channel 9 with channel 2, master channel 9, slave channel 2, 3 point curve. Yeah, now the mix is on. Okay, switch off the mix control. So one now, 
if you start the pump but manually it will be a little hard because the pressure gets stuck there so the best operation it is switch on the mix control and operate all the functions with mix control because the pressure goes after the well open pressure release go to control each cylinder directly so the pump will be running more smoothly Thank you, that's all the operation for this one. Later, we will go to the truck and uh, the LED light here. And we are connected with Bluetooth to control by the truck. So later we will show you more. Thank you, bye bye.